biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Q. We're back again with another video. And I mean, it's getting to the point where I'm just known as that producer on YouTube who makes basically only yeet videos. And what's the point of stopping the train now? So let's just keep it going. So today we're doing just a basic cook up. I'm gonna make a beat and then we're gonna do a little freestyle over and see if we can make a song. So if you guys want to learn how you can make a beat in the style of yeet, basically I'm gonna be going for something off his new album Up To Me. And we're gonna be going for something in the style of Turban. But yeah, basically we're just gonna go for like a really aggressive lead sound. We're gonna be using Serum. We're gonna be using Cyber, of course, which is my new kit if you guys do not have that or if you haven't even heard about it yet go ahead and head over to quindibaba.com if you head over to the website right now this is actually what you're going to be greeted with and if you just scroll down you can see right here you got the best kit for virtual rage beats and I literally made this kit in serum for myself so I can make these yeet beats. But I mean, you guys like it a lot. So this is right here. And obviously you could grab the bundle, which includes the serum bank, the drum kit, the loop kit, the MIDI kit, and the one shot kit. Or you get each one of those by itself. All you got to do is click this buy now button and scroll down and you can see you got each part of the bundle right here. But anyways, let's actually jump in FL Studio and make the beat. All right, so I got the BPM set to 148. And as you can see, this is a fresh session of FL Studio. So I'm going to just throw my headphones on and we're going to open an instance of serum right here. And let's head over in to cyber and i'm gonna look for a lead right now something super aggressive i got my midi keyboard right here so i can just test out how these sounds that's actually perfect so we're gonna go with a list right here usually my workflow for beats like this is i'll actually head over to a drum kit so i'm gonna go into cyber of course and we're gonna grab an 808 i go with this one called church and what i'm gonna do is just adjust the envelope settings like this so it so the noise will stop as soon as i release the key like this and basically what I'm going to do is just see where I want the root note of the 808 to hit. So I think we're going to go with C minor. Then we're going to go to the piano roll. And now that I know that I want the root note to be in C minor, we're going to go to the view section right here, scale highlighting, and I'm going to set it to C natural minor. And basically what this does is it just highlights all the notes that are actually in that scale. It just makes it a bit easier for you guys to work in. Now we're just gonna come up with some kind of lead. So I'm gonna turn the metronome on. And usually you might start with a chord progression. You can do it either way, but I'm just gonna start with the lead because I want that really aggressive sound to come out right away. All right, so we're just gonna stick with this for now. And then first thing I'm gonna do is just route this out and we're just gonna kind of mix the sound a little bit to make it sound like exactly where I want it. So I'm gonna start out with an EQ and we're gonna pull out some of that low end. So I'm gonna go to the third preset. Cool, and now we're gonna open up Serum again and we're gonna head right back into Cyber and then we're gonna get the chord progression going. So this should be a lot easier now that we have a lead because we have like base of where we wanna bring this chord progression. So I'm gonna go into Cyber and we're gonna grab some kind of synth probably uh, let's try a chainsaw yes yeah, so i like this but we're going to go to the effects i'm going to turn off that delay because i don't want that and then we're going to go in here and we're just going to make a chord progression so we know that the first note is going to be c and i'm pretty sure it's going to go c g a sharp down to g i think this should be what the chord progression is but we'll see how it sounds Basically, when you're making a chord progression, you really want to follow your ear. Obviously, you have the scale that you're going to use, but you're going to notice a lot of times if you're making simple triads like this, where you just skip a note in the scale. So you go from C, skip D, and go to D sharp, skip F, and go to G, and now you have a simple triad. Basically, what I'm saying is by follow your ear, this might not sound good, so we'll have to see it. You might have to flatten this middle note to make it sound a little more aggressive, or maybe just invert it or something like that, but let's see how it actually sounds. Yeah, so I don't like that at all. We're going to flatten that note by bringing it down a half step and then bring it up an octave yeah i'm actually gonna mute this lead for now and we're gonna go Two 
thousand years later. All right, so this is what the final chord progression is gonna look like, and I actually went into Serum and changed the synth to Rockstar, so now it sounds like this. And then what we're gonna do is just copy the bass notes right here and bring these down an octave. Honestly, the sound is sounding pretty much done at this point. We might try and add a few more things. Like, I'm definitely going to go in and add a bass. So I'm going to go to Cyber right here. And we're probably going to go with, I think it's Carbon. And all I'm going to do is go to this chord progression. And we're just going to copy these root notes. And then we're going to go to the bass. <laughs> So we're going to route this over to Mixer Track 5. We're going to bring it up, and then we're going to go over to that Mixer Track that we routed the bass to. We're going to grab an EQ, go to the third preset, and we're going to pull some of the high end out. Then we grab another EQ, and we're going to bring that bass, like the really low frequencies, up. All right, I like that. So now we're going to go back into Serum, and we're just going to try and grab like a bell, just like something to add on top of it. I like the Yeet bell. We're not doing that yet. That'll probably come a little bit later. But we're going to go into the plucks and see if we can just find something cool. Just do like some kind of random pattern here. perfect right here so we're duplicating that over and we're gonna route this over to mixture track number three i'm gonna go back into this right here and just bring this master up so it's a little louder and now we're just gonna eq that sound we're gonna bring out the bass third preset pull out that bass and i'm gonna add a bahala vintage verb to make it sound really spacey So that's it right there and now it's time for the drums so we're going to just probably start with a snare or a clap and obviously i'm using my new drum kit cyber so if you guys want any of these sounds you already know where to go Super simple like that, and then let's grab an open hat. All right, I like that, and then we're just gonna try and add like some more, some more bounce with the snare right here. So now I'm just going to route these drums over to the mixture track. You do this by hitting Control shift l Now they're all routed. And I'm going to grab this snare and just turn the bass down in this little equalizer right here. And then we're also going to go into that snare that has that little bounce. And we're going to go to the pan right here and just pan these notes like this. That's it right there. That is the bounce. So now we're just going to head over to this 808, turn it all the way up, and get that yeet beat going. It's super simple with the 808. All you do is follow the root notes. So we already know exactly what it is because we made this. You go in C, D sharp, down to G sharp, up to A sharp, and down to G. And we'll bring this up in active. Let's see how it sounds. <laughs> I think I'm sticking with church, but I kind of want some more distortion in here. So I'm going to go to the Fruity Wave Shaper. I'm going to look at a few presets in here. I think the last.
last thing left is maybe a kick. said the last thing was the kick but you already know what the last thing is the bell and if you actually go into the cyber one shot kit and go to the keys there is this secret file in there and what we're gonna do is just drag this into fl studio and we're just gonna adjust the envelope settings like this turn it up a little bit ride it over to mixture track number six and let's make a little pattern right here That's done right there. So now we're just gonna uh, arrange this, bring it into a session, and we'll see if we can make a little song. And then I'm just gonna open up my vocal template, the blank one. If you grab the template, it comes with like a blank template you could use, which I basically use for like all my vocal sessions. Then it also has one with like presets on it. And I usually like to use the blank one just so I can add presets to it. So you open it and it basically looks like this. You got a spot to put all your vocals, your beats, and then the mixer is arranged like this. Of course, if you guys want to copy this, head over to quintababa.com, click the vocal templates, and it's actually going to be the default mixing template version two. And there is an FL Studio stock and an FL Studio Waves version. So be aware of that when you're grabbing it. Yeah, so what we're going to do is basically, this is how I always do my vocal sessions. We're going to grab the beat. We're going to go to that beat we just made, and we're just going to drag it into the beat section right here. And the cool part about this template is since I dragged it right here to this beat track automatically links it to mix track 20 and as you can see mix track 20 is right here which is the beat so if you do any mixing on the beat you just do it right here and first thing we are going to do is bring this beat down a little bit just so we could easily mix our vocals then we're going to obviously bring the bpm to 148 and i'm actually going to be using this yeet up to me vocal preset right here so i'm going to open that up on this first track right here so we're just going to go to file this is basically how you use any preset on my website but we're going to go to yeet tonka and basically this is the preset that i just showed you and i'm going to load up the waves version but like i said there is a stack version as well so for you guys that don't have waves you got an option as well all right so now we got that loaded up and I'm going to take off the reverb and the delay because I already have a bus for it right here. As you can see, we have the reverb and the delay right here. So we don't need that. But the second thing we're going to do, basically the way I record in FL Studio is like this. So I'm going to go to this record track and we're going to enable the mic and we're going to take it out of that mixer. So yeah, we make sure that that track's not going through the master just so I don't hear myself twice. And then we're going to go over to the, uh, the track with the effects on it. And we're going to turn the input on and then we're going to be able to hear ourselves with effects. Also going to turn this record button off on the track with the effects because we only want to record our dry vocals on this track here. And then I'm just going to set the key in auto tune, which is C minor. Now we're going to set it. Let's see what we could do. Oh, I'm also going to add a little bit of reverb. So I'm just going to do that by bringing this knob up. <laughs> So I like this second part, but I'm gonna just redo that first part. I got the biggest diamonds. 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 And then what I'm gonna do is copy the lead over to this second track and make like a quick like ad lib slash harmony track. So all you do is go to file, save me track as, bring it over here. And then we're gonna rename it ad libs. And we're just gonna turn it down a bit and enable our vocals on it. And then we're gonna bring the reverb up a lot. And then we're gonna add fruity stereo shaper. And we're gonna go to the stereoize effect. So now we sound like this. I got the biggest down. 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 I got the biggest it's down to the ad lib track and let's see how this sounds. I got the biggest diamonds. 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 We're gonna add a free chorus to it as well. I got the biggest diamonds. 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 I got the biggest 
got the biggest diamonds. I 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 got the biggest diamonds. Go back here and we're gonna copy this over and make an admin track. I got the biggest down. 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 I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. Yeah, so that's pretty much it right there. If you guys want me to finish this, let me know. But uh, this is what we got right now. Yeah, yeah, we just made that song for you. Yeah, made that song for you. Made a song for you. And I made it be. And I made it be. This is what we got. Yeah, I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond. I got the biggest diamond.